Epicenter of outrage is a good way to put it, uh, Christine and Alex. The uh, protesters, the activists, essentially refused to let the city council members conduct their meeting. This is what it was like to be in there. No meeting without resignation. The protesters' voices remain loud and strong. Get out, get out. As the LA City Council repeatedly tried to bring the meeting to order, no resignations, no meeting, they chanted over and over again. Hopefully we can have the meeting and conduct the people's business. It didn't happen. Kevin DeLeon, Gil Cedillo, and so far, Nuri Martinez had not yet resigned. And when one council member who was there left, there was no longer a quorum. This meeting is adjourned. Acting Council President Mitch O'Farrell canceled the meeting. The wound is, is too deep, the, the pain. Do you think it's just uh, a matter of time before they do resign? It must be a matter of time because um, the calls from the President of the United States and my goodness, I don't know who's next, the pressure is really on. The pressure apparently became too much by mid-afternoon. That's when Nuri Martinez put out a long statement reading in part, it is with a broken heart that I resigned my seat for Council District 6, the community I grew up in and my home. While I take the time to look inwards and reflect, I ask that you give me space and privacy. After that news broke, Council Member O'Farrell called it a first step in healing. And every council member here is an accomplice of the betrayal. Activists at City Hall, who viewed resignations as inevitable, now demand change. We're not just simply saying we want to replace some bad council members with other bad council members. We're demanding a fundamental shift. We're demanding a repairing of the harm. This is not just about hurt. It's also about harm. We look at how do we include and expand and, uh, uh, representation here. And how do we make sure that a handful of people don't try to do this again? The question now, how to move forward. It's a challenge. We asked Fernando Guerra, political science professor at Loyola Marymount University. To get behind this, we have to stop talking about their resignation and then begin the whole process of how do we restore trust? How do we restate our values? How do we reimagine uh, representation? How do we restore trust, Ella and Christine? That's one of the many key questions that will emerge out of this controversy. Uh, and in this long statement that Nuri Martinez released this afternoon, she didn't mention the controversial recordings at all. She didn't apologize. She'd already done that um, yesterday and the day before. But she did um, apologize to her constituents for letting them down, her family and her colleagues as well. Uh, and it doesn't look like she's going to surface publicly anytime soon. Alex, Christine? She hasn't, we haven't seen her, but we have seen Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo. We saw them yesterday at the council meeting. Right. Any rumblings right. that they may be next? Any sense on their uh, futures? What's the inside gossip there? Uh, the inside gossip is taking some time, taking some time, but that's what Martina has said. I mean, it seems inevitable, right? Uh, but it's also possible that Martina has seemed to be the worst of it, if you will, and she was the city council president, uh, that De Leon and Cedillo, who, by the way, has already been voted out, may feel that they can ride out the storm and find, you know, political tradition. But as we mentioned, with the president and everybody else calling for their ouster, it just seemed like the road back is very difficult. Mitch O'Farrell told me that he spoke with all three of them, urging them to resign, and today specifically uh, made sure that De Leon and Cedillo did not show up at City Hall. They're going to try to have another meeting on Friday. Well, Phil, thank you. You do wonder how they could conduct business with those other two there and the crowd that would likely show up as well and continue to show up. All right, Phil Schumann, thank you so much.